Oh, time for the big one next then. It's the arc and the usual big field for this. And wide open race. I think group one, mile and a half, of course. Fugitive demand at the top for Leon Van Rensburg. Funny Ben, David Hooley, Oceans of Ages, Darren Thompson, own reflection, Craig Allen, the Greg Gatsby, Dan Hughes, Time to Shine, Craig Beckwith, Double Chest, Darren Thompson, Funny Angel, David Hooley, Global Sale, Craig Allen, Golden Clouds, Leon Van Rensburg, that's probably their favourite, Megan Markle, Dan Hughes, Future Treasure, Craig Beckwith, Iron Mike, Paul Rhodes, King of Kazban, Padraig Hogan, Kinshasa for Satyam, could be a fly in the ointment, that one, Kivorsky for Paul Rhodes, Mix of Intrigue, Joshua Sutherland, Storm Murmur, David Robertson and Bella Brandy for Joshua Sutherland. They're all installed and ready to go, and away they go in what is generally one of the roughest races of the season. And who's going to be the first one to show? Looks like Storm Murmur might be interesting, but Kinshasa, the Satyam horse, is going to get across and get into the lead. This one taking a marked step up in class, I think, Kinshasa, but he could well set this race up for something else because they'll go lickety split with a Satyam runner in the lead. So Kinshasa is in front, Iron Mike is second, Funny Ben is third, then Kivorsky, Bella Brandy, who might well be the only three year old filly in a race. Looking towards the back, Megan Markle is the early back marker, but it's Kin Shasha that leads the arc field as you'd expect. Then turning round this turn with Funny Ben and Iron Mike second and third, then Bella Brandy and Golden Clouds, and then Kivorsky and Oceans of Ages and Funny Angels, King of Kazban, is on the rail looking towards the back. The Grey Gatsby and Megan Markle are the back too, but there's still a mile to go and they're going pretty quick. And Kin Shasha is in the lead. Iron Mike is second. Golden Clouds has now poked its head through into third. Kivorsky's next Bella Brandy running wide on the track so too is future treasure time to shine he's towards the back at the moment with the Grey Gatsby and Megan Markle fugitive demands also got more in front and behind but it's Kin Shasha who leads by three lengths to Bella Brandy really wide on the track Global Sail on the inside is coming through now to take a share of second then Funny Angels and Oceans of Ages double chest is well placed as well but it's still Kin Shasha in the lead but now Bella Brandy on the wide outside is coming through to look to be challenging for the lead the angle's a bit deceptive Kin Shasha still in front despite looking two lengths behind it's Kin Shasha on the rail that's in front with four furlongs left to go in the arc then and Kinshasa still leads from Bella Brandy White on the track. Then Global Sale, mix of entry, Golden Clouds, Storm Murmur now making a forward move as well. One or two of these have stayed very wide. And Kinshasa's got the rail and has still got the lead from Bella Brandy. Here comes Oceans of Ages, who's now swept past Bella Brandy and has come through to take it up. It's Oceans of Ages who's taken the lead for Darren Thompson. Oceans of Ages in the lead, two furlongs to go in the arc, and it's Oceans of Ages in front. Kinshasa's trying to stick on. Then Global Sale, Bella Brandy is next. Double Chest is now trying to run on the lead has gone, it's Global Sail in the lead and Global Sail cracks into the lead from Oceans of Ages, Bella Brandy, double chest they're into the final furlong there and it's Global Sail, here comes Funny Ben and Funny Ben sweeps into the lead whilst right on the outside, Fugitive Demand is coming with a fast looking run as well, but it's Funny Ben who's holding the arc field at the moment and Funny Ben looks like he's going to take the arc race into the line, Funny Ben's on it own reflection, Fugitive Demand, double chest Global Sail and all the way back to Megan Mark who just didn't get going at all today and David Hooley has taken the arc and I'm not sure he was expecting that because I don't think Funny Ben's been running well all season but he's not really been beating a lot of these and Funny Ben has just caused a bit of an upset I think in the arc maybe thanks to Satyam so Funny Ben for David Hooley the winner own reflection for Craig Allen second Fugitive Demand Leon Van Rinsburg third double chest Darren Thompson fourth and Funny Angel for David Hooley was fifth so a really good arc for David Hooley